So continuing on from the examples in the previous video, let's have a look at these three problems. So we're trying to find the moment about O again, but this time uh, the problem's a little bit more challenging because we've got, uh, we know a distance, but it's not the perpendicular distance from the point to the force. So what you need to do in each of these cases to make sure you complete a right angle triangle, okay, so you've got a perpendicular line going from the point O to the force. So what we have is we've got the opposite side. We've got the hypotenuse. So this would be 5. So opposite uses sine. 5 sine 45 degrees. OK? So the moment about O is equal to the force times the perpendicular distance 5 sine 45. So 10 times 5 times sine of 45 is 25 root 2. OK? Now, what we also need to consider is the sense. OK? Now, because this is going around in that direction, OK, that is clockwise, and so this will be negative. OK, so it's actually minus 25 root 2. Now, as for B, what we want to do is complete that right angle triangle. So draw a perpendicular line uh, through O. So that should, should have O on it, shouldn't it? Let's put those on. Apologies. Um, so this is the opposite side. We've got the hypotenuse. So this is 8 sine 60. Okay, so the moment about O is equal to the force, 12, times by 8 sine 60. So 12 times 8 times sine of 60 is 48 root 3. Okay, uh, Newton meters in these cases. Now, because of the direction, we're going that way round. OK, that's clockwise. And so these will both be negative. So last one. Moment about O. So finish off the right angle triangle. So this side will be 65 sine 80. OK, the opposite side. So the moment is 15 times by 65 sine, 65 sine 80. So 15 times 65 times sine of 80. And that gets me 960 Newton meters to 3 sig fig. Now, because of the direction, this is anti-clockwise, and so it's positive. OK, so it's completing a right angle triangle. OK, we're used to doing that uh, using a little bit of basic Sokotoa um, to get the opposite side of the triangle and then multiplying the force by that perpendicular distance and then checking whether you're going clockwise or anti-clockwise.